Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. It is time for us to explore more of Recard Minoris. We either got the Electrodynamic Cenobium or the Bunker available and we're just starting with the Bunker. Mainly because uh, I feel like going for the Bunker. Is this... Ah, uh, I think it is uh, the headquarter. Alright, that made me look stupid because I just re-went for the bunker. Of course we wanted to go to the electromagnetic something something, which is where we are... Electrodynamic uh, Cenobium, where we are helping the tech priests. That's what I meant to say. So, buckle up buttercup as we are going in. Good. We're needing to reach the reactor. Uh, so far, we're doing the world well. Trembles beneath my feet. Judging by the dead people and equipment, they were the same wardens that the governor sent to the monastery aid. Uh, so, a couple of wardens here. Let's just speak to them. I'll cover the landing area. Glory to the uh, Valencian Powers dynasty. Uncover my path. Triumphant. Lay people unworthy of entering the hallowed Cenobria humbly said the prayers uh, next uh, to uh, the hall. Okay, interesting. So it's a temple, but sometimes you're not even allowed to go in because you're unworthy. Perfection. Judging by the fact that the pieces are in molten on the edges, the statue was destroyed with fire from Embrace a mortal laser weapon. Power. Interesting. This definitely looks nice as almost any of the tech priests uh, buildings hundreds and hundreds of tesla generators i like it as much as pascal wants to go I in front it's not happening we got a tank for that manner I like it that we do have a pe uh, tech priest. I definitely like Pascal. It's one of my favorite characters the as well. Will bow. Uh, let's see how well he's doing with that plasma weapon. Because now we finally got a plasma weapon with plasma overcharge. And I can tell you someone is going to burn. I also realized that we need commerce uh, skilled on the characters. If I look at uh, the characters, we got uh, 55 commerce on good old Abelard. Um, and maybe Abelard becomes the commerce guy. He's sort of a fellowship uh, guy. Other than that, I think only Saiken does have commerce uh, with 55 as well. Uh, so it's okay. We saw that um, 45 was currently what was needed but that might change soon ish darkness lurks beyond the bright flashes no two darknesses one streaked with red with clanking shackles and false preaching the other a bilious yellow the tang of roiling blood and screams of pain the colors of this place are flecked with sparks of pain bright scarlet Blackish crimson, deathly grey, a kaleidoscope of despair and madness. Mm. For those of you who are unaware, uh, chaos can also infiltrate machines feet. and corrupt machine spirits. Just pointing that out. Despite with that answer, I will repeat my question again. The last Electro Priest you killed, where did you find him? Burn in the fire of dawn, servant of the corpse emperor! Another one meets the limit of his utility. The last of them. Oh yeah. 
An Inquisitor. Heinrichs, the tall, dark-haired man, seizes up with a quick glaze. A supernatural chill is marking the air around his, him and is crackling softly. The expansive fabric of his jacket is uh, stitched with gold thread and marked by several reddish-brown stains. A force, sword and a vox uh, hangs from his belt and an emblem of the Holy Inquisition glitters on his chest. Yep, Inquisitors are pretty powerful psychers, as you know uh, from Chaos Gate. Interrogator Van Kalox, I presume. Yes. <clears throat> well, since you know who I am and are in no hurry to kill me, I infer that you serve the Emperor, not his enemies. Allow me to introduce myself. Interrogator Heinrichs Van Kalox, of the Imperial Inquisition's esteemed Ordo Xenos. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Ordo Xenos. Shadow. A great big sun eclipsing chain weaving shadow. I can see the threads, myriads of them extending toward us all, and all of them creeping off toward him like snakes, shrouding us in poison. My, oh my, do I sense trouble, and it's right in my throat. It itches. <clears throat> a psyker. Interesting. And a diviner at that. Even more interesting. Are you sanctioned? D -d -d don't you inquisition me! I'm under the rogue trader's protection! Lira's predictions are seldomly wrong. <laughs> and I will be watching you. Now that we have declared our intent, let me ask again Who are you? Rogue trader Sykin Van Valencius. Van to the best of my knowledge, that dynasty is headed by the esteemed Theodora von Valencius. Has there been a change of circumstances? Theodora is dead. Slain in a battle by the enemy of humanity. The news is lamentable. My condolences. And I presume the heir to the sacred warrant of trade and the lofty title of rogue trader is none other than yourself. Well then. What precisely has brought you to the sanctum of the Omnissiah? I'm here to collect you. I'm under the order of uh, the Lord Inquisitor to offer any assistance you may require, after which I am provide you safe passage to footfall aboard my ship. <laughs> then the timing of our meeting is fortuitous. I am requisitioning you and your retinue for my task. Requisitioning? <laughs> Young man, your choice of words is unseemly to the point of insult. You are addressing a rogue trader. Oh, you should know better, Abelard. He has the bigger schlong, so don't even try. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll be any happier if I say taking into inquisitorial custody. To aid his faithful servant in the fight against corruption is the solemn duty of all whose actions affect millions of the Imperium subjects. Let your example guide those who will carry the Emperor's light across a thousand stars. You are familiar with the works of Inquisitor Alastar the Redeemer. Not every acolyte can say the same, let alone people less initiated. Please forgive my lapse in manners, Lady Navigator Orselio. It is a great honor. I came to Rykad Minoris on a mission, which a rebellion prevented me from fulfilling. The governor is convinced that malcontents from among the rabble were the instigators, but I immediately suspected a more sinister presence at the root of the mutiny. My visit to the monastery and a few unhurried conversations with some of the rebels confirmed my suspicions. All right. Someone by the name of Aurora is leading the rebellion. Data indicates that the head of the cultists is here right now, in the sanctum of the ancient reactor. 
Given the prophecy of the final dawn, and the especial efforts made by the enemies of humanity to seize the monastery, their goal is to gain access to the Holy Power Source's control circuit and trigger a process that, once started, cannot be stopped. In other words, to detonate the reactor, thus being themselves the cause of their much-touted final dawn. Interesting logic. Blasphemous insanity. As Henrik von Koch speaks, you suddenly notice the way he's looking at you with his eyes uh, slightly narrowed, as if he's peering in your soul. A soul that is uh, tuft, uh, touched by the gift of sorcery. Um, the change in your expression does not escape the interrogator's notice, and you can see the corner of his mouth, which he must have insanely re um, realized you as a fellow psyker. All right. I can help you with other Aurora. Thank you. Regrettably, the governor's people showed themselves to be unprepared for the perils of this place. <sighs> and extracting blade shards from a person's stomach is beyond my powers. I hope that a rogue trader's retinue will prove more capable than a group of soldiers fresh off the base. I am positive that not all of the electro priests within these walls have perished. The heretics spoke of shadows emerging from side alleys to make short work of the cultists invading their abode. I surmise that the entrance to their hiding place is somewhere in the hall near a machine known as the Circular Cogitator. I imagine it's one of the local sacred relics which the Electro Priests treat with special piety. Oh, Heinrich is here. All right, baby. Hmm. Oh, we only have six slots. Hmm. Uh, let's use Heinrich instead of Idira. Idira has been struggling lately, and I want to check what Heinrich has to offer. A full-fledged Inquisitor. Holy shite! Uh, this game is giving it its all. There's no shortage of cool characters. Starts as a warrior. I like that. Uh, third warrior in the team. And comes from an Imperial world. Is a Biomancer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. He's a sanctioned Psyker. Which means he also doesn't provoke the Void too much. And he is a healer. Mm, that might be just what we have been waiting for. So let's talk about group composition for a second. We have melee frontliner, right? Then um, we do have a sniper slash ranged magical DPS, so to speak. A buffer um, who does her job very well as the navigator. I mean, her buffs are just crazily good and she has good DPS as well. Uh, AOE DPS uh, mm, then what we were are missing is a bit of a healer slash further support we have crowd control back here uh, mm, crowd control slash DPS uh, mm, buffing slash DPS and healing would definitely be good very good indeed um, then technically our uh, sister of battle is supposed to just deal awesome damage but that's not happening yet. She and Pascal are the ones that are ranged physical damage uh, with Plasma Bolter and the, the normal uh, Bolter Cannon AOE and single target. Um, so that's the idea of how I want to build the group. Uh, let's see what uh, Heinrich uh, or Henrik's can do. He has uh, leveled Coercion. Which sort of makes sense. Um, which sort of makes sense. Um, coercion comes with uh, fellowship. He does not have that. Not a lot. Um, and as a warrior, he. The warrior is like normally a melee guy. Core focus, movement dodge, armor and parry. And soaking damage. Well, maybe he is. He could be. He could be a ranged 
taunting character. That wouldn't be bad either. It fills a nice little role because we do have two little um, two little warriors. So he has defensive maneuvers. Um, he gets dodge, stacks up to three times. That seems good. Let me just think about and see what we want to do with Heinrich or Henrik's rather. All right, so we leveled him up. Let's uh, take a short look at uh, what we've done. I gave him the stronger together feat. Everybody gets a uh, plus five strength. For me, that's a simple logic that effectively for one feat, you're giving uh, 25 uh, characteristic points. And that's good, even though it might be more use, uh, useful in Aberrant and uh, Pascal. It's still fine for every uh, one else. On top of it, this character uh, is now uh, really focusing on the healing. We've got an Invigorate, uh, which is our first option to actually get uh, stunned, bleeding, fatigued, blinded, immobilized, and other injury effects off of targets. Uh, he is skilled with the Biomancy and the Emperor's Doctrine. So I'm thinking about, from a casting standpoint, the only thing if we have him and uh, Saiken in here is that we're missing kind of Divination. And although Divination is nice uh, for all of the dodging uh, that it gives, I could theoretically live without it. Um, currently, uh, Cassia is uh, with her navigator talents is just better as a as a buffer overall, and I think that Heinrichs uh, will do a lot of uh, the uh, a lot of similar effects. It's not surprising that he is dogmatic, by the way. Um, what I will say though is inquisitorial approval that he does have a couple of other nice uh, features. So um, let's all of his actual melee features down here he has endure which personally is great um, and he does have all of uh, the healing stuff up here let's do the healing stuff uh, at the front and the word of emperor and uh, so on a little bit further here so this here is from his other uh, uh, from his other caster tradition uh, all allies in a circle gain one resolve until the end of the combat. Every additional stack um, increases the resolve bonus plus two, which means with him we're actually getting uh, these heroic acts more often. So I absolutely like this. This is great as well. Will increase the veil, but uh, will heal, which is super good. Um, and 10 Not feet radius. To do this. 10, 10 feet radius is a lot if you think about it. So he ca has ranged heal. And then we do have target unit gains 10 strength and toughness. So that's a no brainer uh, buff uh, for Ar Aberart um, and anyone else, maybe Pascal even, because it's actually not a, uh, not a bad buff uh, whatsoever. I'm still looking for more biomancies. Um, to put him into really the healer type, which is what we were uh, frankly desperately uh, lacking. No it's not bad to have uh, mm, the mad kids and so on, that's all good, uh, but having him as a healer is not bad either. Um, so, uncolored. with our Psyker leaving the party, what have we lost? We have lost uh, the dodge bonus, we've lost, lost the AoE dodge bonus, and frankly, We've lost uh, really strong screams, but the problem is that as an unsanctioned psyker, it always uh, increases the warp uh, so much, and I don't know if it's worth it. I really don't. I really don't know. Anyways, so we got our team. What do we have here? Nice little charged staff. Uh, looks like psychic. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! It's better than our normal staff. And we got 
Uh, leather armor. That might not be too bad. Let's double check what we've uh, gotten. So, for starters, um, her staff is giving willpower. And has casting gate, so that is good. The minus five to all um, to all enemies as a debuff is really decent. Um, and she also can't really use the staff. So, uh, what's his staff like? Um, by the way, he should be running around with his staff. Uh, he does have a cool, a couple of cool abilities. So, let's take the info on the staff. Um, he has a biomancy staff, not surprising really. Wielder of the staff uh, gains Siphon life ability, which drains the target life and heals the Psyker. Oh, it is pretty damn good. I like what I'm seeing, so you keep that staff. He has an auto pistol. I don't know. And what else? A four sword. Um, what does that do? Prerequisites needs to be a psyker. Must have. The Adeptus Staris equipment. So yeah, it's only him who can use it. Seven to eight, uh, eleven damage. Very good armor penetration. And has psychic four special attack. Deals additional damage. May trigger. Uh, perils of war. All right, so he's he's dealing a lot of damage in melee uh, as well, which again is not unsurprising. He was he comes with a humanity's finest plus ten strength, so I think he was originally built kind of as a melee healer paladin type of uh, style, and we might. We might actually go for that. Uh, we have not made any decision that uh, stands against it. Uh, what I've noticed with the game so far is that melee isn't uh, really as sexy as you would think. Give him a laser pistol and I think we're good to go for now. Uh, I think we're good to go. What is his armor? Flag West. Oh, it's not really good. I think you will like that much more also it looks more like an inquisitor to me he cannot use med kits that we need to remedy soon because med kits are important well does he actually because he he can heal maybe he doesn't need to get med kits give you a monocle you look a little bit cooler with that Leather armor is good. Okay, now back to the staff that we were finding. It's a charged staff. And it has lightning arc. So, what is this staff all about? The wielder of the staff gains lightning arc. The ability also available in its heroic act. Okay, so it has the heroic chains up to six targets as a heroic act ability. I see. And it has plus 10 willpower. Do we now have plus 10 willpower here? There we go, yes. With the staff we do have 10 willpower. Cool. I just have to wonder how much damage is uh, this going to deal. Hmm. And it is creating Veil, so not sure yet if I like it or not. We got some good equipment.
Oh, there is cultists right there. Operation successful. Good. It says the damage has been done on purpose. This is not Bazash's. And, not surprising, we are starting the combat with a nice little ambush. Oh, yeah, we, we can't shoot through the wall, okay. Argenta goes into cover. And let's take a couple of shots. Good. Not much has not much has really changed with her. Chaos but to be me. fair, to be fair. Uh, she was not in the best position to start with. Okay, we could take away a lot of the cover. Yep, might position ourselves here. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. I am a navigator, not a side. Yeah, and there, all of uh, their uh, cover is gone in just one, in just one go. If I may. So I can get the buff. Me. And Pascal insist, gets above. All right, cool. Good job. To the weak. Emperor, deliver us. Out of my way. All right, Pascal. What are we doing, my man? Let's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. We do have plasma overcharge now. Uh, what is that? Plasma overcharge AoE. I like it. Can we hit that here? No. No. And we do have a certain range limit. Okay. Well, let me tell you, we're staying where we are. Uh, what does this here do? All creatures within the area. Okay, and what does this do? Deals 75% damage and overheats the weapon for two turns. We don't want that yet. Uh, what we want is... Requested you dealing less damage and being less quick. And then we give everybody a buff. And whilst we're at it... Ninety-five percent shot missed. How much damage would we have dealt? I don't know. We're going to find out soon. All right, invigorate. The emperor is on our side. Healing is a little bit weaker than I would have uh, liked it. Everybody gets the word of the Emperor, which is great.
And Heinrich could just kill this guy here. Well, not just kill, but give this guy a hard uh, time. Uh, I think we're instead going to go and give Abelard strengths. Iron arm is good. Uh oh. Fail degradation. But of course. Be careful, Heinrichs. I serve the ruinous powers. Death to non believers. Good. Abelard. Moves up. It will be done. Strikes for 19 points of damage. Uh, thank you for that extra damage. Pawns both of them. And I think we're just going to sprint in further. Unfortunately, we were parried. Good. We don't want more problems. Therefore, we're moving out of the problem range. 50 points of damage with a crit. Purpose Holy guys. moly. Psych, and that was great. Moves to here. Yeah, listen, we do. We have the problem of not being able to really. Ah, I do have an idea. I always have the problem of not getting into position. Another loss to the retinue. Okay. Well, I think we can now prove that crippled arm can be healed. Can't move in. That is foolishness. I'm not accustomed to being boarded around. Nice little little stair. Fantastic. And Heinrich, you need you need more willpower. If I may, Abelard. There you go. Okay, cool. So, let's start with. Analyzing each and every one of you. And then whilst we're at it, plasma overcharge. Hmm. Good damage, I like that. Running by Eric override. Pascal is dealing really uh, good damage. All right, we can't move in. So what we can do is for the throne's glory. Heal her and realize that that is creating a lot of veil. Oh boy. Since we're anyways at maximum veil, might as well give the word of the emperor. I traded one loose psyker for another one. Still need to find a better way uh, of dealing with these psychic powers. Holy shit. 
I will do my best to take care of this one. Nice. It will be done. Good. Abelard has breached the enemy's uh, lines. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Purpose guides me. Nice little shot. I like that. I need no guidance. Wow. So much veil. We don't have we don't have a lot to hide behind, so if only that were possible. Me. Might as well go with what we have. Um I think we're just we're just reveling our own light here. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I'm a mentor. Pascal moves up as well. Oh no, chaos spawns. Oh no, chaos spawns. Well, let's just steep off the enemy and buff our own friends. Very good. Well, that's what we've gotten for so much psychic usage. Can we heal her back More up? Trouble than it's worth. Heinrichs uh, moves up. Alas, no. All right, word of the emperor. Naturally. And let's see to it. I think we are just going to sprint over. Help me, Lord Captain. I still don't know which of these fields are okay and which aren't. Given that we don't know, eat this grenade. At your back and call. Come at me and Victory is imminent. Yeah, we're good. Nice little demon there. So the seeds of discord. Good, firearm mastery. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Find him up. Almost. Come on. Come on. Purpose guides me. I need a boat tree. Good. That was not bad at all. Little stare into. Uh, has he already gotten a buff? No. Isn't this a job for the serfs? 
I'm afraid not. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I'm a member. Let's go casually dispatches of this guy. And we could theoretically... Nah, we don't need that. The warrior immediately restores AP. Everyone I tell you, we're aside. going to go here. And... There is a heroic act version. Psyker drains life from the target. Healing all the Psyker's ability. And Psyker themselves. Okay, let's heroic act this demon. Obliterated. Well, that's not bad. Word of the Emperor for all of you. Um. But of course, Lord Captain. Oh no. Okay, we need to stop casting. Holy shit, this is not okay. Argenta is back in action. Oh, this is going to be so, so problematic. Couple of good hits, I like that. We're also healing ourselves for zero AP. Avalard moves up. Taunts the creature. We cannot just use um, psychic powers like this. It, it's very, very problematic. It will be done. Good, let's go with that blood letter first here. Wait, 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 what does he have? Uh, the effect will be removed. Movement points reduced, he's slowed. Okay. Disarmed. One step closer. Purpose guides me. And Sykin deals decent damage. Actually, good damage, not decent. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Little stare. Uh, unfortunately, it generates aggro. I don't like it. If you insist, Lord Captain, do not. We're healing ourselves with our ability. Yeah, Cassia is not doing so super well all right debuff machine spirit then we're buffing uh, or deba further debuffing more so and let's hit this guy with an overcharged blast and everybody gets joint analysis there you go if I continue casting more demons will come it's not this cannot continue is this you creating veil 
Yes. Is this your creating veil? Why is the word of the emperor creating veil? Good. Oh, Heinrich moves up. This is not creating veil, right? No. This, this, this would uh, the psychic force would be creating veil. I won't object to it. But we're just dealing damage. Argenta moves up. Not good enough, but would hit our friends. In which case we're just single firing. Good bolter. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. Well, almost. Tech pr uh, um, Abel Art. Um, stays in melee. Indeed. Pawns both of them. Victory is Very nice hit. Fantastic hit, and we're just leaving it as uh, that. I should have reloaded, but okay. Um, this is not increasing the veil, but it is effectively giving us options, and I am a navigator, we're just a shifting over Me. turns to Saiken, who's currently dealing the most damage here. Nice little hit. Rain and duty go hand in hand. The brute chaos spawn takes a lot of damage. I like it. This guy dodged. I don't like it. Good, get that blood letter down. For the throat, nothing stands against me. Great hit. I like it. Nah. Can't afford more veil. If anything, at the moment Dance we need less veil. Good hit. I refuse. I will do Ablard hits. At your back and call. Taunts both of them. And I don't go it one step forward because that's where the damage starts. Psychon on the last shot. The flesh. Shatter the spirit. Very nice. Cassia. I'm not accustomed to being boarded around. Little stares this guy down, and uh, for now we're okay with the demons, but I might say this is crazy just how quick they spawn. That is foolishness. Heinrichs is just no not a single bit better than our previous situation. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Pain cleanses the body. Good, we got another sniper rifle. Fair enough. Uh, first and foremost, no, no, everybody moves. 
Okay, Whew. Heinrich, my dude. Um, I have yet to see someone remain so after an interrogation. But of course, Lord Captain. Can Heinrich basically heal? Let's see to it. Can his invigorate? Take away wounds. Blinded, immobilized. Yeah, it doesn't do anything about crippled arms. Lesson learned. What a shame. Failure stings. Oh, come on. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Good, got another plasma pistol. How good is it compared to ours? It's the exact same. A soldier would have been disciplined for such a performance. This explorator is blessed with multifunctionality. Good, we guys, we do have a problem here. Does right, something trouble you, Lord Let's Captain? See. I think too many wounds for now, and Heinrichs is not delivering on the wound cleansing features as Bring much as I wanted. Intriguing. So we shortly need to go back. Uh, got a, not, a lot of sniper rifles. That's not bad at all. I think we're going to collect all of that. It's also uh, pretty far into the episode. So I think I'll just um, start to call it a day here. Get our... Uh, get our wounds uh, fixed and we're going to uh, continue the exploration the next time thanks a lot for watching guys as always uh, if you want to do the channel a solid one cast the biomancy on the like button and let me know if it has gotten strength plus 10 and if that's the case even better take care have a good one and see you in the next episode bye bye